probably worth getting one. Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California, and Gary and I went to Harbor Freight. Well, this is Gary's thing. I run to the dollar stores, he runs the Harbor Freight. Look at this, they have their buckets. They're really nice colored and they're a number two and you can watch the video and I tell you all about plastic, which ones are good and which ones you should not grow in, at least food plants. Now, I'm gonna kind of walk through because Gary was shopping for things they had on sale and here you can kind of see what they have. It's definitely a toolbox store. In other words, it's all on tools, but solar panels, you know, we do the solar fountains with a lot of different solar kits and oh yeah you can do a lot with solar so you kind of look around see if there's anything you like i think the buckets are attractive i don't know how long they'll last as far as color outside we have gotten a lot of red buckets from uline which i have never had any of those really fade now look at this i will tell you i love harbor freight soldering iron which you know I use to make holes in all my totes and containers with. They're only $6, which is a great price, and they have a really nice handle, easy to hold, and they're really sturdy. So now you can look around and see all the different tools, and they do have different types of solar lights here. This rope light was really cool, 16 feet, and I was thinking more of a walkway, kind of like making that trip down to Gary's Garden where he's got that long stairway you walk down. That would be really cool. Here they're showing it on the ground, but there's a lot of things you can do with 16 feet of a rope solar light. So there he is. He knows what he's looking for, and we'll catch up to him in a few moments. Now these are the gloves they have, and they have a lot of gloves. And just because they're made for a workshop doesn't mean you can't use them in the garden. They're wonderful for the garden. I get gar regular garden gloves and a lot of them fall apart, but these really do last for the whole season. So I really like them. And you can always look around and see what they have on clearance. Way too tough for me. I don't need anything that thick. No, but these are not bad. $1.99 a pair. They look really good and they're good for moving plants out of pots and you know, kind of shuffling around on the soil and the dirt. He's still looking. He knows what he's looking for. Wait a minute, now here, that's not a bad price. And they come in sizes, different sizes. You get three for $4, that's a better price. This way I can put one someplace and another pair in another place. And, and then they've got some garden tools, not too many. Those were $13 we just saw. More solar lights. Boy, do they have a lot of solar lights. So if you're looking for something like that, and you have a Harbor Freight, it's probably worth walking around and looking around. That's got a pretty big panel, must have batteries in there. Look how big those panels are. It must be really bright. Now I know Gary's here because he needs something for his greenhouse room in the back. And you'll see it. I'll be dropping it in because he ran home and put his together right away because it was exactly what he needed and wanted. A lot of these tools and things they have here, I have no use for, but you never know. Now tarps, we can always cover a greenhouse. Yes, he's still looking. Cover up plants, do different things. and. They do have probably every size and so many colors here. So you do have a big choice. Off he goes. Now this is their garden department. Not too big. Now they probably have more online. They've got some shovels and rakes. Now Gary told me he does not buy their shovels. So take it from Gary. Now here, that is really good. That's a fly swatter and you put two batteries in and then you push the button. And if you get moths or different little critters flying around in the house or mosquitoes, let me tell you something, especially on mosquitoes, they work really good. So we have already one, we don't need another one. I don't use it that often, but it's nice to have. Now I will say here, they have a lot of different garden hoses and their hoses look really good. Last year I bought a few different types of hoses, not from Harbor Freight. And I've never seen anything collapse from the inside out. I don't even know what to say or what they're doing with them. So I may be replacing some hoses this year, not right now, but. They collapse even when they're straight. <laughs> I can't figure that out. Brushes, we can paint chairs. I use a little tiny makeup brush to paint my chairs, but they have a lot of different brushes. You can look through and they've got some stuff on sale here and see if there's anything you're interested in. Just so, you know, I figured I'd walk through and you'd get an idea of what Harbor Freight is all about. And it's all about tools and working in the workshop and working on your car. Not a whole lot of car stuff like you would go to a automotive place, but they do have a lot of different things here. That's it, more stuff and hello. <laughs> I'm walking around and just doing my thing. Now here is actually what Gary really came for today. 
he wanted some shelving. Now, he didn't want the little one here. And if you're a member, and we did decide to become a member today, $30 a year, $45 for two. And though it's probably worth it to do two, since we've never been a member and we don't buy a ton of stuff, we're going to go with the one year and see how we use it. And this one is on sale for $45. And I don't believe you have to be a member. So he's getting the big unit for his back room. And I'm going to get that for $20 to put on the deck for dish pans. Now, Gary has bought a lot of stuff at Harbor Freight. He's bought, of course, the soldering irons. And then he's got a string trimmer, a hedge trimmer. He's got a chainsaw. And they all work on 40 volt rechargeable batteries and he loves it it's something you can just go out look at that it was 35 and now it's 20 member deal so that's why i'm getting it so he does enjoy having their tools their tools have you know years ago were not that great many many years ago we used to go there like 30 years ago but they've really improved so he's really happy with their tools so he's loading up on what he wanted and yes he's going to get me the shelving because i'm going to try one set for the deck it should hold four dish pans. And those dish pans I use from Sterlite are under $3. I get them at Walmart. I love them. You can grow in them like a tote. And that is the store. And that's what it looks like. And again, it's mainly tools. And you saw the garden department, very small. Though they do have gloves in different parts of the store you can look at. I would say if you have a Harbor Freight, it's definitely worth taking a walkthrough. And here you're gonna see him put together my small unit. He's gonna open it up, you can see what it looks like. Now Harbor Freight is nationwide, so you'd have to look around if you wanna check and see if you've got one. And Zoe's gonna make sure it's being put together right. And the instructions, oh, she can chew those up later. So each of the shelves came with their set of holes, which will be the legs that extends it up. And that's really good, I like the way they packed it. Look how it was packed really neat. And it really only took him a few minutes to put the whole thing together. And of course, Zoe's got to keep track of two things. She's got to keep track of what Gary's doing. And then the Orioles and the hummingbirds are all coming in. So she wants to keep track of that. But this is a really hard, tough plastic. It looks like it should last for quite a few years. I've got this shelving unit Gary found in the trash sitting on the deck that's been there for many, many years. And he found it in the trash. So I don't even know how old it is. And it's still going strong. There's the Orioles. Now you could configure this if you wanted to differently. Instead of putting the four shelves together, you could separate it. And though the bottom would be off the ground a little bit more, I don't know how sturdy it would be. You could configure it differently if you want. But I'm gonna use it as it stands and I'm gonna put a dish pan and probably a flower pot on each shelf. And that will give me four dish pans and it should hold the weight without a problem because this is meant to hold heavy tools in a garage. And the dish pans I use, they're four and a half gallons. So it's like a five gallon bucket and I grow all kinds of things and I love them. Now with Gary, he needed it for his back room and there he's stacking dish pans and all kinds of plants there. So that was our trip. I hope we gave you some ideas on what you can get at a Harbor Freight if you haven't visited one. And well, I think his unit looks really cool. And he said it got things off the ground and they were all over and it's straightening up his room. Whether he's going to get another one, I don't know. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And I'm going to grow things on this. Bye-bye. <laughs>